Welcome back, guys. This video is a part of our series all about our new Rover robot. And this video covers assembling the Rover. First things first, let's grab our bag of parts. Now we wanted to be sure to include absolutely everything you need. And we're gonna go through this here in one second. The very first thing is your Phillips head screwdriver. Yours might look a little bit different than ours, but we're sure to include it. Next, we have a flat head screwdriver. And these are six millimeter M3 bolts, the smallest in the kit. Next, we have four 10 millimeter M3s. These are slightly longer than the six millimeter. These are M two and a half screws. You'll notice they have a pointy end on them. These are M3 by 25 bolts. These are the longest in the kit. Then we have some M3 nylon lock nuts, They're nice and secure. Finally, some standoffs. These are nylon standoffs for your M3s. And last but not least, a mini wrench. This has a side for both M3 and M4. We won't use the M4 side. Step one, grab your four 10 millimeter M3 bolts. You'll want to grab four of the M3 lock nuts as well. Now in this first step, we're gonna be assembling the base frame. So that is attaching the side pieces to our top panel. You have two side pieces and one top panel pictured right here. So the pegs of the side panel are what fit into our top plate and they're really nice and secure. You can put both in first and then bolt the thing together or you can bolt it one by one. It's totally up to you. Either way, the system is really, really easy. First things first, you take your nylon lock nut. Now notice there's a flat side and a round side. And that's the round side right there. The round side should be facing down. And so what you'll want to do is fit that lock nut inside of the slot in the side panel. May take a second to get it right. Once the lock nut is in place, you'll then stick the 10 millimeter bolt through the top and screw it together. Now, one thing that's nice is the frame itself holds the bolt in place, so you really don't need a wrench. Once you have the first one in, you'll do the other three the exact same way. And once it's done, it looks just like that. All right, next we're gonna be attaching these standoffs. Go ahead and grab your four six millimeter M3 standoffs and grab the eight six millimeter M3 bolts. Now this is what we attach the circuit board to the frame with. And so the first step is taking that bolt and sticking it up through the bottom of the frame, then attaching the standoff on the top. So the bolt goes up through the bottom and is then attached to the standoff on the top of the frame. Next, we'll be attaching the motors. Now, one thing that's very important to keep in mind is that there are two motors with longer wires and there are two motors with shorter wires. And the motors with the shorter wires are what need to face the front of the robot. And if you look at the chassis, the triangles will be pointing in one direction. And so the short wire motors or the front should be facing the points of the triangle. To attach them, you'll need the 25 millimeter M3 bolts. The head of the bolt faces outside, which then goes through the side panel and through the motor. They are attached 
using the M3 lock nuts. Be sure to start these with your hand first to make sure they're in position. To tighten them, use the included M3 wrench and your screwdriver to get them good and snug. There's no need to over tighten these. Just make sure that it can't wiggle or wobble so that way things are nice and accurate. The other motor with the shorter set of wires will go right across from it on the other side of the robot. Then the motors with the longer wires will go on the back. All four motors are attached the exact same way. Perfect. This is what your finished product should look like. Next, you'll want to feed your wires from underneath the robot through the closest triangular cutout up through the top. So now we see you have short wires in front, long wires in back on both the right and left side. Next, take the remaining four 6mm M3s and we'll use it to attach the circuit board to our chassis. Keep in mind, we have the front of the chassis and the front of the PCB. This is really important. Once everything's in place, You'll put the 6mm M3 bolts through the circuit board and then into the standoff that we attached earlier. It's always a good idea to not tighten these all the way until you have all four in place. Once you have all four of the bolts in place, tighten everything down. And keep in mind, these don't need to be super tight as well. So long as it's snug and not wiggling around, you're fine. Next, we'll wire up the motors. The first step is taking both red wires and attaching them to the back portion of the screw block terminal, the green plastic component you see here. This is for the right side of the robot. You'll then do the same thing with the black wires. If you're having trouble getting in the wire, be sure to loosen the screw block terminal with the flathead screw on the top of the screw block terminal. You can tighten the screw block terminal by using the exact same flathead screw at the top. Once you have the first side connected, feel free to pull the wires back a little bit to keep things more organized. Once the right side is complete, we'll move on to the left side. Now keep in mind, the wiring for the left side is gonna be the exact opposite. We take the red wires, and this time connect them to the front of the screw block terminal. Then we take the black wires and connect them to the back. All right, now we will attach the wheels. And so the wheels go on really easily, but you wanna make sure to grab the pointy M two and a half screws. See the pointed end there. The pointed end goes through the wheel, then on to the motor and are screwed down. Just like most of this kit, this doesn't need to be super, super tight. As long as it's made contact and the, uh, the screw is pretty close, you're good to go. We turn on our robot and we're done. That's it. Now we do have an optional top plate. Uh, and if you'd like more information about that, we'll cover that in a separate video linked below. Thanks for watching guys.